Hi guys and welcome to my channel and thanks for stopping by and watching. In this spray paint art video I'll be summarising all the different spray paints I've tried in the last 22 videos. Most of them I'd never used before so it was my first time trying out the paints. I'll also be answering a question that I get asked a lot and that is what is the best spray paint for spray paint art. So what I'm going to do first is show you each of the spray paints one at a time and the paintings I did with that spray paint, then explain a bit about the paint and finally show you how different each of the spray paints work when changing the stock cap that comes with the cans to a skinny cap. I'll be showing you that on this piece of glossy card here and I'll be spraying the stock cap in this column and the skinny cap in this column. Both of the columns are 4 inches wide and the skinny cap I'm going to be using on all the cans is a Montana level 1 cap. So I'll be using this cap here. I'm using this skinny cap because I have lots of spare ones. And what I want to do is put a clean cap on each of the spray cans when I'll show you how each of the spray paint sprays when changing the stock cap. Right, first up is the MTN 94 spray paint. Which works well for spray paint art. The finish is matte and the low pressure valve system and the stock cap which is a standard skinny cap works really well so I'll just show you how the stock cap sprays compared to a skinny cap so I'll use a stock cap first just pull some paint through like I say I'm going to be doing a stock cap on this side and a skinny cap on this side I'm going to be doing a dot and one line so dot first and then a line I'm holding the can about 6 to 8 inches above the sheet. So I'll just put a skinny cap on. And then do the same, a dot on the line. As you can see there, both caps sprayed pretty much the same. Next up is a Belton Molotow Premium Spray Paint which worked well for spray paint art. The finish is semi-gloss, the unique valve system and stock cap which is a blue dot soft cap worked really well. So I'll just show you how the stock cap sprays compared to a skinny cap. So stock cap first, so spray a dot and then a line. Swap the cap over, dot well, I didn't push that on right. And a line. As you saw there, both caps spray pretty much the same. Next up is a Cobra HP spray paint. Which worked well for spray paint art. The finish is matte and the high pressure valve system and stock cap, which is a red skinny cap, worked well. So I'll just show you how the stock cap sprays compared to a skinny cap. The stock cap first, dot, and then a line. Dot, line. As you saw there, both caps sprayed pretty much the same. Next up is a Dope Supreme spray paint, which worked well for spray paint art. The finish is semi-gloss, the dual pressure valve system and stock cap which sprays up to 4cm lines worked really well. So I'll just show you how the stock cap sprays compared to a skinny cap. The so stock cap first. Now the skinny cap. As you can see there, both caps spray pretty much the same. Next up is the Iron Lac Lac spray paint. Which worked well for spray paint art. The finish is gloss, the dual pressure valve system worked really well. But the stock cap, which is a Widowmaker fat cap, 
let a bit too much paint out. So I'll just show you how the stock cap sprays compared to the skinny cap. So first the stock cap. I didn't pull the paint through long enough on that cap then, as you saw. Now the skinny cap. As you can see there, the stock cap produced a wide line and let a lot more paint out. Next up is the Iron Lac Basic Spray Paint. Which worked well for spray paint art. The finish is gloss. The variable valve system worked really well. The caps I used on the cans were a level 3 medium cap and not the stock caps. I wasn't sent any, so not sure if these cans come with a stock cap or not. So first of all, I'll try the level 3 that I put on there. Just remember that this wasn't a stock cap because I wasn't sent any. Now the skinny cap. As you saw there, the skinny cap produced a slightly wider line than the level 3 cap. Next up is a Molotow covers all water based acrylic spray paint. Which worked well for spray paint art. The finish is matte. The soft vary valve system worked really well. But the stock cap, which is an orange dot fat cap, did let a bit too much paint out at times. So I'll just show you how the stock cap sprays compared to a skinny cap. So the stock cap first. And then a skinny cap. As you saw, the stock cap produced a wide line and let a bit too much paint out. Next up is Flame Orange Spray Paint. Which worked well for spray paint art. The finish is matte. The eye pressure soft valve system worked really well. But the stock cap, which is an orange dot fat cap, did let a bit too much paint out at times. So I'll just show you how the stock cap sprays compared to a skinny cap. So first the stock cap. Now the skinny one. As you saw there, the stock cap produced a lot wider line and let a lot more paint out. Next up is the Flame Blue Spray Paint. Which worked well for spray paint art. The finish is matte and the low pressure valve system and stock cap, which is a grey blue dot soft cap, worked really well. So I'll just show you how the stock cap sprays compared to a skinny cap. The stock cap first. And now skinny cap. As you can see there, the stock cap produced a bit more of a wider line. Next up is the MTN Hardcore Spray Paint. Which worked well for spray paint art. The finish is gloss and the eye pressure valve system and stock cap, which is a standard skinny cap, worked really well. So I'll just show you how the stock cap sprays compared to a skinny cap. So pull some paint through this stock cap. So a dot and a line. Pull some paint through the skinny cap. Dot on the line. As you saw there, the skinny cap produced a slightly wider line than the stock cap. 
Next is Clash Spray Paint. Which worked well for spray paint art. The finish is matte. The dual pressure valve system worked really well. And the stock cap, which is a medium soft cap, worked well till I had some clogging issues with them. So I'll just show you how the stock cap sprays compared to a skinny cap. I'll just get some paint through this stock cap. Spray a dot and then a line. Pull some paint through this skinny cap. Dot and a line. As you saw there, the skinny cap produced just a slightly wider line, but the dot it produced was a bit smaller. Next up is the MTN water based spray paint, which worked well for spray paint art. The finish is matte, the dual pressure valve system worked really well, but the stock cap, which is an anti clog cap, did let a bit too much paint out at times. So I'll just show you how the stock cap sprays compared to a skinny cap. So I'll pull some paint through the stock cap. Doesn't seem to be spraying very well this stock cap. So I had to do that a few more times than I wanted to. It just didn't spray properly the first time. Must have a bit of paint dried up from when I last used it for this painting. So I'll swap the caps over to the skinny cap. Pull some paint through. As you saw there, the skinny cap produced a thinner line. Even though I went over the stock cap line a few times, I think the skinnier cap still produced a thinner line than the stock cap did. Next up is the Uster spray paint, which worked well for spray paint art. The finish is matte and the ultra low soft valve system and stock cap, which is an Uster Lemon Universal cap, works really well. So I'll just show you how the stock cap sprays compared to a skinny cap. So I'll just pull some paint through this, the stock cap. Now put a skinny cap on. As you can see there, both caps spray pretty much the same. Next up is the Dope 400 Classic Spray Paint. Which worked well for spray paint art. The finish is matte. The low pressure valve system worked really well. But the stock cap, which is a level 4 fat cap, did lay a bit too much paint out. So I'll just show you how the stock cap sprays compared to a skinny cap. So I'll just pull some paint through. I'm going to do this a line again, but as you can see, it produces a wide line. Can is nearly empty as well. So now we're going to a skinny cap. As you can see there, the stock cap produced a big wide line and let a lot of paint out. Next up is a Montana white spray paint. Which worked well for spray paint art. The finish is gloss and the high pressure valve system and stock cap which is a level 3 medium cap worked really well. So I'll just show you how the stock cap sprays compared to a skinny cap. So just pull some paint through here, stock cap first, and now the skinny cap, 
as you can see there, both caps produce pretty much the same line. Next up is a Montana Black spray paint, which worked well for spray paint art. The finish is matte, the high pressure valve system worked really well, but the stock cap, which is an orange dot back cap, let a bit too much paint out at times. So I'll just show you how the stock cap sprays compared to a skinny cap. So I'll just pull some paint through this stock cap. Now I'll put a skinny cap on it. Pull some paint through. So as you can see there, both the caps sprayed pretty much the same, apart from the skinny cap which let a lot less paint out than the stock cap. Next up is Montana Gold Spray Paint, which worked well for spray paint art. The finish is semi-gloss, the low pressure valve system works really well, but the stock cap, which is a Montana Gold cap, did have a bit of a spitting issue. So I'll just show you how the stock cap sprays compared to a skinny cap. So I'll just pull some paint through this stock cap. One dot and then a line. Pull some paint through the skinny cap. Dot. Oh, I didn't push that on far enough. And then a line. As you can see there, both caps sprayed pretty much the same. Next up is the Cobra LP spray paint. Which worked well for spray paint art. The finish is matte and a low pressure valve system and the stock cap which is a red skinny cap worked really well. So I'll just show you how the stock cap sprays compared to a skinny cap. So I'll just pull some paint through this, the stock cap. Swap it over to the skinny cap. Pull some paint through. As you can see there, both caps ray pretty much the same. So next up is a department store spray paint, which worked well for spray paint art. The finish is gloss, the unknown valve system, an unknown stock cap works really well, but the paint is a bit more thinner than some other brands. So I'll just show you how the stock cap sprays compared to a skinny cap. So I'll just pull some paint through this stock cap. Dot. And then a line. Pull some paint through this skinny cap. Dot. And a line. As you saw there, the stock cap sprayed a thinner line. Next up is the AKA Colors Writer Series spray paint which worked well for spray paint art. The finish is matte and the low pressure valve system worked really well. And the stock cap, which is a universal cap, worked really well till I had some clogging issues, which was caused by one of the spray paints. So I'll just show you how the stock cap sprays compared to a skinny cap. So I'll just pull some paint through this. And now put the skinny cap on. So 
As you can see there, the stock cap produced just a slightly wider line and a bigger dot. Next up is a Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch spray paint, which worked well for spray paint art. The finish is gloss, the unknown valve system and the unknown stock cap worked really well, but the paint is a bit more thinner than some of the other brands. So I'll just show you how the stock cap sprays compared to a skinny cap. So I'll just pull some paint through this stock cap. Now pull a skinny cap on it. Just spray some paint through a skinny cap. Oh, that's not very good. As you can see there, this skinny cap doesn't work on this can. It doesn't sit on the can right, so it's filled underneath the cap up and blown all the paint out here. As you saw there, the stock cap works a lot better than the skinny cap, as the skinny cap just didn't work on the can. So sometimes changing the cap might not work. Like you just saw there with this skinny cap on the Rust-Oleum Painters Touch spray paint. It just didn't work. It just didn't like the cap. The stock cap that came with the cans works well. And that's the cap I'd use. And I wouldn't bother changing it to a different cap. And lastly is a car paint spray paint. Which worked well for spray paint art. The finish is like a semi-gloss. The unknown valve system and unknown stock caps worked really well, but the paint is a bit more thinner than some of the other brands. I won't be able to show you how these can spray with a skinny cap on, because the caps that are used on these are different to all the other brands I've shown you. So these spray cans have a plastic tube that comes out of a spray can, like this, can you see it? Whereas all the other brands have no tube stem coming out of a spray can. It's built into the lid here, the cap. So I'll just get a clean cap so I can show you. So as you can see there, you've got the stem tube inside the cap. Which then, that cap sits in the hole in the middle of the can there. And all you do is push that cap down. And then the cap is on that cam. Whereas on here you have the tube sticking up, so the cap's got no stem or tube inside it, it's just got a hole in it where the tube sits in. So then you just push the cap on top of the stem or tube that's built into the can, and then it's ready to go. So that's the reason why I can't show you how these can spray with a skinny cap on them, because they've got no cap to all fit on top of these cans. Right then, you can find more information about each of the spray paints that I've shown you in the videos I made about each of the spray paints. The links to them videos are in the description box below. Now I've shown you all the different spray paints and paintings and how they spray different when changing the stock cap to a different cap like a skinny cap. I'll now answer the question which was, what is the best spray paint for spray paint art? So the answer in my opinion to that question is, but there is no spray paint that is best for spray paint art. Just use the one or ones you like using the most. For example, I use spray paint from the Montana range, mostly from the Montana gold range, but I also use spray paint from the Montana white range. They are made by the same company, but are two different types of spray paint, which I like using. And because I like using it, that is the paint I use to paint with. And that is the only reason why I use it. Because if I didn't like using it, I wouldn't paint with it, I'd use a different brand. So as you saw in the 22 paintings or videos before this video, that every spray paint that I tried worked fine for making spray paint art. Even though every spray paint I tried was different from one another, like the caps, the valve systems in the cans, and the paint itself was different, they all worked really well and made some real cool space paintings. It may be the case with some of the spray paints you may have to change a stock cap to a different cap. 
especially if you are painting on a small scale like spray paint art, as some of the stock caps are designed more for graffiti, for filling in etc. These caps are called fat caps, which lay a lot more paint out and spray a wider line. And one last thing, it may take a bit of practice getting used to the spray paint, the pressure in the cans and the caps you were using, and how far to press the cap down when doing different things. And also just remember to take your time, enjoy what you're painting, and let each layer or stage dry before moving on to the next. So if you found the information in this video helpful and enjoyed watching and liked the series, I really enjoyed making it and trying out all the different spray paints, it was fun. And don't forget to like the video and please subscribe if you like this kind of art, it'd be very much appreciated. And once again, thank you for stopping by and watching. I hope to see you all in the next spray paint art video. Have a great day, take care and bye for now.